looking out for something new. It's the right time to be. The right time to be. To be in again. Maybe win again. All I want is to talk to you. I have something I need to tell you. Oh, deja vu. <laughs> I'm a fucking bitch. Nope, that's new. Ted, I lied to you. I hired you because I wanted this team to lose. I wanted you to fail. Then I sabotaged you every chance I've had. It was me who hired that photographer to take the photo of you and Keeley. I set up the interview with Trent Krim, hoping that he would humiliate you. And I instigated the transfer of Jamie Tart, even though you'd asked me not to. This club is all that Rupert has ever cared about, and I wanted to destroy it. To cause him as much pain and suffering as he has caused me. And I didn't care who I used or who I hurt. All you good people just trying to make a difference. Ted, I'm so sorry. Hmm. If you want to quit or call the press, I'll completely understand. I forgive you. You what? Why? Divorce is hard. It doesn't matter if you're the one leaving or you're the one who got left. It makes folks do crazy things. Hell, I'm coaching soccer, for heaven's sake. <laughs> In London. <laughs> I mean, that's nuts. <laughs> yeah. But this job you gave me has changed my life. It gave me the distance I needed to see what was really going on. Yeah, but you and me, we're okay. Come on, just shake this hand. My arm's starting to get... <laughs> you know, I think that if you care about someone and you got a little love in your heart, there ain't nothing you can't get through together. You know what I'm saying? You're not just talking about us now, are you? Maybe. Maybe not. I'm gonna go change for practice, uh, training, practice, whatever. Who cares? Nice seeing you down here, boss. You liven up the place. I shall be putting your Bassania back on defense where he belongs. That's exactly what I said, didn't I? No, no, it's not all Ted's fault. My ex-wife's the one who brought the hillbilly to our shores. I know she's always been a bit randy, but I never thought she would fuck over an entire team. Hey! Better manners when I'm holding the dart. Please. Hmm. Mate, what do I need to win? Two triple twenties and a bull's eye. <laughs> Good luck. Yeah. You know, Rupert, guys have underestimated me my entire life. And for years, I never understood why. It used to really bother me. But then one day, I was driving my little boy to school, and I saw this quote by Walt Whitman, it was painted on the wall there. It said, be curious, not judgmental. I like that. So I get back in my car and I'm driving to work and all of a sudden it hits me. All them fellas that used to belittle me, not a single one of them were curious. You know, they thought they had everything all figured out and so they judged everything and they judged everyone. And I realized that they're underestimating me. <sighs> Who I was had nothing to do with it. Because <laughs> if they were curious, they would ask questions. You know? Questions like, have you played a lot of darts, Ted? Oh! 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 
which I would have answered, yes, sir. Every Sunday afternoon at a sports bar with my father from age 10 to 16 when he passed away. Barbecue sauce. Good game, Ruby. Come on, let's go. You are a very lovely consolation prize. Rebecca, Ted, enjoy your evening. May, as always. Holy shit, that felt good. That was fun. Yeah. <laughs> Only one thing left to do now. What's that? Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. How you doing, Jamie? What can I help you with? Um, have you got anything that I could give as a present in here? Did you not buy a Secret Santa gift? I didn't know I had to. The email said Secret Santa. They didn't want to ruin the surprise, did I? Oh, Jamie. You know what? Hold on here. Yep, yeah, there you go. Higgins, look alive. Huh! What are you doing? Hang on. A little magic pixie dust. Christmas, a very Merry Christmas, to say Merry Christmas, a very, very Merry Merry Christmas, a very, very, very Merry Merry Christmas to you. God bless me, everyone. Oh. The fuck are you doing? Shh, 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 be patient. Bicycle. Thank you, uh, too, please. Oh, I love a challenge. Hold this. <laughs> Mate, we've just made tonight amazing. I want to ride around on a fucking bike. Oh, come on, it'll be fun. Voila. 60 euros. Have a hundred. Thank you. Yeah. Get away from me. Oh, come on. No, I don't want it. Mate, we take the bikes, we find a windmill. No, I said no. Why the fuck not? I don't know how to ride a bike. <laughs> no refund. <laughs> Fucking hell, Roy. Do you have to tie your own laces? Stop being a dick. Go on, Roy. For Grandad. Okay, you're gonna sit up, look up, and pedal. Straight back up, but straight back up. Put your feet on the pedals. Put your feet on the pedals. That's it, good, now pedal, put now pedal. Put your foot on the pedal, all right, okay. All right, all right, okay, all right. I'm never gonna stop the rain. Up the bike. Pick it up in an angry way, man. Good lad, pedal, 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 pedal. That's it. Aye. Good lad, pedal it. Yeah, good lad, that's it, that's it, that's good, that's good. You did it for two seconds there, man, that's an improvement. Steady on, mate, steady on, steady on. Hey, what are you doing well, man? Calm down. How's that going to help anyone? In there. There you go. Good, good. I can't turn it away. No, it's right. This way, this way. I can't turn no, it away. Right. You follow me. Look, try it. It's all about balance, man. Just like dribbling. If you can dribble, you can balance. That's it. Yeah, that's good. You do. Yeah, all right, mate. All right. Yeah, it's good. You're doing it. I'm doing it. You're doing it. Let's go find the fucking women! For granddad! All right, wait for me. You are such a fucking chicken shit. I mean, if you were great, truly great, you could play anywhere. But instead, you choose a club like West Ham because it's big and shiny, and you know that they'll win whether you're there or not. And you'll never have to wonder if you're still as good as you tell everyone you are. But you and I know that you're not. You're overrated. 
you're overpaid. And you eat too much fucking asparagus. Change my mind. Zaba will not play for Chelsea. Oh, oh God, I'm sorry. I can't watch this. Zaba will play for Richmond. What? They keep the bet. I will see you at karaoke. I will, of course, sign us up for Islands in the Stream, but I'm calling dibs on Dolly. No can do, coach. Mom's cooking dinner tonight, last night in town. All right, well, give Dotty my love. Will do. Actually, hold on a sec, coach. Come here, check this out. <laughs> uh, no, no, I know you've already seen it. I just don't know if you watched the whole thing. Look, 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 look. All right, so look, after we came in, Nate had to hide under my desk here for like three whole hours while we were all hooping and hollering and celebrating all around him. <laughs> then, once we all split, he thought he was in the clear, and boom, cleaning crew shows up. Oh man, <laughs> that's another two hours under that desk, yeah. Well, after they leave, he crawls out, his legs just gotta be jelly. Barely stand up. Look at this, he goes to check the doors, but they're all locked. <laughs> oh man, that son of a gun. Had to climb out the window here just to get out of the building. <laughs> you know, I don't know about you, coach, but I hope that either all of us or none of us are judged by the actions of our weakest moments, but rather, by the strength we show when and if we're ever given a second chance. All right, have fun tonight, coach. Uh, and we rely on each other. Uh -huh. Somebody is in trouble. Mm. No. Shouting is Roy's love language. Oh. All right, listen up. This is not a week for your Mr. Fucking Humble Great Teammate bullshit. We got City on Saturday, so we need you to be the prickiest prick you've ever been in your little prick life. You understand? <laughs> so I don't want you. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. What is wrong? I don't I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Are you fucking dying or some shit? No, no, I'm no, I'm just I'm just tired. But I can't sleep and I can't eat. And I wash my hair, but I don't use any conditioner anymore because like what's the fucking point? I feel like the guy in the Red Bull commercial who's, who's pushing that big rock up the hill, but but he's lost his wings, Roy. I feel like, I feel like I've lost my wings, Roy. Where the fuck are my wings, Roy? Yeah! <laughs> 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 Well, yeah, it's the good one. <laughs> Coach, this is nuts. Us leaving like this, I mean, we almost won the whole friggin' thing, you know? 
say bye to a bunch of nice folks. And I know I've finally accepted that air conditioning is a privilege. I don't want to go, Ted. I'm in love with Jane. I want to stay here and I don't want to let you down. But with your permission, I'd love to run off this plane and into her arms. I mean, what about your luggage? Forget my luggage. It's full of rice. What? Why? I haven't slept for three days, man. Okay, I'm sorry. Yeah. I've been dreading this. Talking to you. Abandoning you. What? No, no, no. Hold on, Coach. You ain't abandoning me, okay? You just fall in your arms. Yeah, you should go. But look, man, I don't think they're gonna let you off this plane with that door already shut. Hey, I have a plan. Of course you do. Okay. What do you need me to do? <laughs> Whatever's about to happen, that's a great start. I love you, Ted. Too, Willis. Ah! Oh boy. Ah, my appendix! The other side. Thank you. Ah! Oh Are you all right, sir? Ah! Call the medics. Ah! 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 Would you like to go to the hospital with your friend? Yeah, I'm okay. Thanks, though. What a fucking asshole. Flight attendants, cross check. Please prepare for departure.